to be Any citizens having trouble dealing with their recent time <laughs> displacement should contact their nearest Kang counselor. Hmm, yes. Quite lovely. Two. Two man Ha ha ha. Nothing beats walking through fresh snow. The master says I won't make any progress in the and start wearing geese. <clears throat> now show those guys. Look like something big was going <clears throat> Now show those guys. Can you believe they're still making video games about losers like the Avengers? They already had their turn. Two, in fact. Though, I'm not sure if they're both strictly canon. Either way, when was the last time you saw a game with a duck on the cover? The industry needs to change, starting with my new game, codename Project Egg. Sadly, my Quackstarter campaign fell through. So I'm gonna need to find the funds for this thing some other way. Think you could help me find a wealthy entrepreneur that I can hit up for the dough? You won't regret it, kid. See what you can find out from the folks around here. There's gotta be at least one money bags in this joint. Two. Two Manhattans. Ha ha ha. The thing they don't warn you about when working at the bank is the folks who keep you working late drying off waterlogged treasure. How'd it get so wet? And why was there so much of it? Whoever it belonged to must be ri i i i itch to be honest, I was expecting bigger things from Quackstarter after all the hype. Barely hit 5% of my goal. Kids these days don't know what they want. To all citizens complaining about the so-called Manhattan... That old prospector over in the Old West said he pulled a big hole of something out of the water the other day. Didn't say what it was. But he was winking so hard I thought he was going to hurt himself. And he was soaking wet. What a strange fellow. Find out anything about our wealthy friend? That cool. If the hand, it must be the hand. Uh. Nobody else could concoct a scenario so nefarious. Turns out the Cave of Dragons did have an actual dragon. So what do you got for me? All this snow, mm, promising. If we knew who cashed in that loot, we could definitely hit them up. Could be something there. If we can confirm it wasn't just an old booty dug up. So putting what you've told me through the old Detective Melon, we can deduce that the old prospector over in the Old West recently came into some serious cheddar. This is perfect. The only thing now is to figure out how to convince an old-timey prospector to invest in a Talking Ducks video game. But that won't be the weirdest thing I do all week by any stretch. Thanks for the help, kid. Oh, and if you run into Forbush Man, could you tell him the funds are in the bag? Last I heard, the poor guy was looking into making money through social media marketing. Now I've done it. You want me to show? No! Help me! Sorry to bother you, but yep, you guessed it. Some crime near you needs fighting. Is there a person out there who can understand my vision? Working with Howard on this video game of his has been problematic. He laughed at my idea for the final boss, but I think he simply lacks the imagination to grasp its true awesomeness. But as an accomplished game designer, this is a problem I know how to fix. Some ideas are better to show than tell, so what we need is a prototype. 
We'll get you dressed up as my villain and show off your awesome villainy skills. Skillany. <laughs> so, you in? We're not gonna get attacked again, are we? A smart decision. I'll show you my design for the character. You've signed an NDA, right? Whatever. Get yourself looking the part, then we can start the demo. seen this much trash in one place since my last family reunion. The tail's looking good. We're lucky I managed to arrange this meeting with Howard. He's usually crazy busy on the phone with publishers all day and... Wait. We don't have a publisher yet. That lazy... Think I might move to Wakanda. The weather there seems... Soon as Howard shows up, I'll rustle up some enemies for you to fight. All right, Forbush, make this quick. I've got another meeting after this. About meetings! But we're the only two people working on... Ah, uh, never mind. Feast your eyes on cock a doodle doo <laughs> What? Huh? No one is safe from this foul enemy. Oh, good. Poultry jokes. I assure you, this villain is no yoke. And not even original ones. Fried don't know what you mean. Ugh. cock a doo, -doo <laughs> lays her enemies to waste with devastating expertise. The puns are making me like it less. You know that, right? If you think she's done with you yet, you're fresh out of clock. No. <laughs> so, what do you think? Pretty hardcore, right? <laughs> Pretty intimidating, right? Pretty... All right, stop saying words. You can put your stupid chicken boss in the game. But if any of the kids at the focus test start crying, it's coming straight out again. You won't regret this, Howard. If the folks at ChronoCon don't love it, I'll eat my saucepan. Oh, shoot. ChronoCon's coming up. What are we doing standing around yakking? We gotta get the game finished. You seen that superhero supply store? Lady who runs it always seems to be in some sort of trouble. Yesterday she was purple. Eh, you'll learn to tune it out. Oh, yeah. I forgot we actually had to make the thing. <laughs> Thanks for helping us out, pal. If you're going to Chronicon, make sure to drop by the stand. <laughs> Which means you've unlocked another thing! That's right! An exciting new Gwenpool mission awaits! 
Speaking of ChronoCon, you did get the tickets, right? Uh, I thought you were doing that. <sighs> this is what I get for teaming up with a walking pot rack. watches us with those drones. This is your glorious ruler, Kang, with a quick message to whichever citizen just...